hello everyone welcome to my new video so today we are going to solve another question related to heap so the question name is sliding window median in this question you have to find median of all the sub arrays of size k in the given array this one so let's see like the size of the sub array is 2 so for 2 like this one what's the median is going to be it's going to be 1 plus 2 by 2 is 1.5 Similarly for this one and we have to find all the medians of size 2. So firstly we don't know what's the median. So I'm assuming that my median is x. Now I'm going to take max heap and minimum heap. So if you guys are not aware like why I'm taking max heap and minimum heap then please check out my previous video. So this is my maximum heap and this is my minimum heap. So the first element is 1. So I pushed 1 inside this maximum heap. 2 inside of this heap. Now here you can see the size of this heap and this heap is greater than 1. Their difference is greater than 1 because the size of this one is 2 and this one is 0. And if you have checked my previous video, the size should be approximately same or the maximum difference can be of one not more than that so what i'll do in this case i'll push the top element of maximum heap to my minimum heap now i have to find median at this point so median if the size of the heaps are same so it means they are even number so we have to take out their top elements this one and this one and we need to, uh, we have to find their average that is 1.5 right now what it says now we have to find the median of these two elements but we have one in this max heap how we can remove this one from the heap how we can check like the element is present in max heap or in min heap so let's check out we have to remove one so i'll check it with max heap top element right max heap top element if it's greater than or equal to the element so here my element is one so it says that yeah this is present in max heap so yeah i can remove that from max heap otherwise it's it's going to be in my minimum heap then i'll remove it from minimum i found that it's present in the max heap so i i'll remove this from max heap now my maximum heap is empty still the size difference max size difference is 2 so that's okay uh, that's okay for us as of now now the next element is minus 1 our max heap is null and our minimum heap contains 2 so this is minus 1 okay so we uh, will push this into this one now we have to find out what is the median at this particular point of time so it's minus 1 plus 2 by 2 is 0 0.5 now we have to remove this 2 from here because it's the second element so I'll check like if 2 is present in maximum heap or not so maximum heap says I don't have 2 because my value my top element is lesser than 2 so it means it's present inside the minimum heap so I'll remove it from minimum heap so similarly we'll follow all the steps and solve in a similar manner so here is a code for the problem so this is my maximum heap and this is my minimum heap so what i'm doing here in the starting i'm pushing all the values to my maximum heap and i'm checking out if if maximum heap and minimum heap are not empty and maximum heap top is greater than minimum heap then i'll push the top element of maximum heap into the minimum heap and remove that remove that top element from maximum heap and after that i'll balance like i'll check like if the difference between their sizes are not greater than one here i'm checking if the size of the sub array is equal to k or not so if it is then i'm getting median from here like if the size of the both the heaps are same then um i need to pick top element of minimum heap and top element of maximum heap and i have to return their average in other condition if any 
of the heap size is greater suppose max heap size is greater than minimum heap then the top element of max heap is going to be our answer otherwise it's going to be minimum heap then i'll remove that element the first element i'll remove that element because I, uh, because we don't need that element in this window anymore and again after removing that element we need to balance our heap and in the end i'll return the result that's all guys thank you for watching this video